everybody. In today's video, we're going to learn all about Marie Curie. But before we do, make sure you like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Are you all ready to learn all about Marie Curie? Well then, let's go! Marie Sklodowska Curie was a brave and curious girl who was born in Poland on November 7th in 1867. Marie was the youngest of five children. Marie and her family went through a lot of tough times when she was young. One reason was because Poland was controlled by Russia and people were not allowed to read or write in the Polish language. And then, when Marie was 10, her oldest sister, Zofia, got sick and died from a disease called typhus. And only two years later, Marie's mom passed away from tuberculosis. A little while later, Marie decided that she wanted to go to a university. But back then, young women in Poland didn't attend universities. Fortunately, there was a famous university in Paris, France, called the Sorbonne that accepted women. Marie went to Sorbonne and completed degrees in physics and math in just three years. And shortly afterwards, she met and worked with a French scientist named Pierre Curie. They ended up getting married in the year 1895 and had two daughters named Irene and Eve. As Marie and Pierre worked together, she became interested in rays that were recently discovered by scientists Wilhelm Röntgen and Henry Becquerel. Röntgen and Becquerel found rays given off by an element called uranium through x-rays. Marie started doing experiments with Pierre and they found something amazing. Marie and Pierre discovered two brand new elements called polonium and radium, which were even stronger than uranium. Their discovery earned them the 1903 Nobel Prize in Physics, making Marie the very first female Nobel Prize winner. And thanks to Marie and Pierre's discovery, x-rays became available for diagnosing and treating medical problems, including everything from broken bones to cancer. Sadly, a few years later, Pierre died in 1906 after being knocked down by a horse and cart. Marie Curie took over Pierre's teaching position, and Marie became the first female professor at Sorbonne University at 39 years of age. Marie then earned her second Nobel Prize in 1911, this time in the field of chemistry, making her the first woman ever to win a Nobel Prize in two different fields. And hey, guess what? Did you know that during World War I, Marie Curie created mobile x-ray units called Little Curies that could be delivered to the battlefield's hospitals in France? Marie helped train women to operate them so that doctors could see broken bones and even bullets inside a wounded soldier's body. This helped save many soldiers' lives. That's right. And as Marie Curie continued to research, Marie discovered that radiation could kill human cells. And she believed that the same radiation could kill unhealthy cells too. Thanks to her discovery, we have many modern cancer treatments today. Sadly, Marie Curie died on July 4th in 1934 because she was overexposed to radiation from all of the tests and experiments that she did with x-rays. Now, scientists have lots of safety measures to keep them from getting overexposed to rays. Thanks to Marie Curie, we have made amazing scientific discoveries, and Marie will always be remembered as a brave and brilliant scientist who helped change the world. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know a little bit more about Marie Curie. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Bye.